Hi everyone, my name is Courtney. I am the Youth Services Librarian at the Norfolk Public Library. In celebration of Earth Day, I'm going to show you three crafts you can use with recycled materials. We will make binoculars out of cardboard rolls, flowers out of egg cartons, and beads out of paper. These are all great crafts for kids to do um, and fun for the family to do together. So let's get started. This are binoculars. And these are great for little kids to do because they are not too complicated and they it helps them practice uh, their fine motor skills with some, working, working with something round like this. Um, so let's see, we can use two toilet paper rolls or one um, paper towel roll and cut it in half. But I prefer to use the, paper, the toilet paper rolls because they just have a better shape. They don't have the lines that the uh, paper towel roll has. All right, so first we need to decorate them. So I'm going to paint mine, but you can use um, really anything you want. You can use markers, you can use stickers, um, construction paper, duct tape, anything that you want to do. So I'm just gonna paint one so we can get the concept here. I love purple, it's a favorite color. I use a lot of purple today. And again, you can have anything you want for decorations. Stickers are great too for little kids because it uh, works on their fine motor skills more, using their fingers to pinch and pull and press. All right, so there's one. And we're going to pretend that I painted the purple one too. Um, and I'm going to use a hot glue gun and make sure grown-ups only use this um, to put them together. So I'm going to choose a side on my um, roll here. I'm just going to do a nice liberal dollop of hot glue. Now, if you don't have a hot glue gun, you can also use rubber bands and stick them together. And if you had rubber bands, you can put them around the sides here. So it kind of um, matches up and keeps them together. Um, Elmer's glue or glue sticks won't work um, just because of the material of the cardboard and it just will fall apart. All right, so once that dries, um, you can, we're almost there. So once that dries, which I think it has now, you can take a hole punch or a pencil and um, pick the right side up end. So the, the end you're going to look through. And you're going to just take a pick a spot about half an inch down from the top and be care being careful of your fingers, just poke a hole and then try to get it as even as possible on the other side. So I can kind of see my hole here. And all right, so now we have two holes and that is perfect for making a um, way to put it around your neck. So we'll just take any kind of string, ribbon, yarn, whatever you have around the house and just tie it together. And you don't have to be fancy about this. As long as it's a like double knotted, it'll stay, stay, stay secure. And when you're gluing them together, Make sure you're not gluing any of the fun decorations together that you have, your kids might put on. Maybe draw a line on one side and say, this is the glue spot, don't color this. I think it's easier to decorate when they're apart rather than gluing them together first. All right, and here we have some lovely binoculars, very high tech. Um, these are going to be so much fun to go outside with and see if you can find birds or squirrels or any kind of nature. Um, and that's going to be a good one. All right. So next up we have our egg carton flower. All right, so you can kind of see I have um, a pipe cleaner 
and an egg carton. And I have a little button inside for the uh, um, middle of the flower there. So you can use any kind of egg cartons. Um, cardboard works best. Plastic tends to get um, splintery and sharp. So I just cut one out here. And as you can see, it has one like flat side, one whole side, and two, we're gonna call them petals because we're gonna make flowers. Um, so I'm actually going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut out a little triangle just to make four petals. All right. And I'm also gonna neaten up this end a little bit too because I had a little bit of a uneven point. All right. Now, again, I'm going to use paint, but you can use markers, um, whatever you feel like using, whatever you have handy. Crayons will work too. Markers just show up better. Um, so I'm just gonna paint more purple. We're getting all the purple today. And you're gonna try, make sure you get the outsides and the insides. It doesn't have to be perfect, just however you want to do it. So I'll get a little bit inside too. All right. Now I have pipe cleaners. I'm going to make a, um, a stem for mine, but I'll show you in a minute what you can do if you don't have any pipe cleaners. Um, you can make a bouquet on paper, or you can glue them to a circle and make a wreath. All right, so I'm mostly painted here. So I'm going to actually, um, it might be best for you to wait till you're dry, otherwise your hands look like mine, all purple. <laughs> um, but you can actually bend the flower petals back a little bit and make them curl. And that will, oops, I forgot one, that's all right. And that will actually make them a little more flower-like. There. Not too shabby. All right, so if you do have pipe cleaners, you're going to poke a hole like we did for the binoculars and just do it right in the center here. And don't hurt yourself. All right, it's a little big, but that's okay. And then I have a pipe cleaner here and I'm just gonna poke it through and then do a little Pretend not on the top, just doesn't fall out. Now I actually have the luxury of having hot glue. So I'm gonna do a little dab. I'm gonna make a little dab here, just so it doesn't escape. But you don't have to do that part, that's okay. All right, and I also have a little button here that I'm going to put on top with a little more hot glue. And there. And then if you want to get fancy, you can bend the pipe cleaner in certain ways to make petals. Just kind of wrap it around itself. And there. Now, if you don't have pipe cleaners, you can take a piece of construction paper and just make a little bit of a bouquet. These aren't colored, obviously, but you get the idea. And you can make um, a vase or, or a garden or however you want to do it. Um, and also, if you have some sort of circle that you don't want, that you don't mind getting glued, you can um, place them. This is just masking tape, but you can see where I'm going with this. You can get um, a little wreath going. All right, it's super cute. Last but not least, we have some paper beads. Now these are just construction paper that has been rolled up and glued together, um, but you can use literally any kind of paper. You can use um, magazines, old book pages. Um, don't cut up a book that's in good shape, but if you have one that's kind of falling apart, go for it. Um, but you can use any kind of paper. So all you need is 
my paper here. And all you need, you can kind of see what I did the first time. All you need is to make a very long triangle. And again, you can use any kind of paper for this. All right, so I have my triangle and I have a pencil. So I'm just going to actually roll the paper up around the pencil like this. Oops. And then once I get to the end, I'm gonna take my trusty glue stick and just glue the end here like that and then roll it together. Now you don't wanna glue everything because then it will get stuck to your pencil. Um, but if you do just the tip on the end there, all right, and then it'll slide right off and then you have your bead. Now, if you want, you can use a toothpick or a paintbrush or something with like um, different um, diameters and that, oops, and that will give you a, see I didn't glue it properly, you gotta glue it enough. So that will give you um, a tighter roll. You can change the size of your um, triangle so you have a smaller bead or a bigger bead. It's really up to you. No measuring required. Um, but once you're done, here I have another one. Once you're done, you can um, cover the whole thing in Mod Podge or clear nail polish, and that will keep the paper from unraveling like we just saw, or um, it just keeps it preserved a little bit longer. All right, and that's it. So we made three very nice Earth Day crafts today. And let's see, we got the binoculars, we got the flower, and we have our paper beads. All right, so there you have it. Three things to make on this Earth on Earth Day this year. Um, if you're interested in having more activities, you can visit us on our website at norfolkpl.org or on our Facebook page. We've got stuff for everyone on there, adults, teens, kids. So if you're looking for something to do, you know where to go. All right, thanks so much for joining me.